Okay, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how you can combine an if statement with a VLOOKUP. I've got a shopping list here and I've got two shops that I go buy from, Asda or Tesco. I've recorded the different prices of different products that I can buy from those shops and what I want to do is basically select a shop to choose from. It displays the prices down in this column here and then it calculates the total down this column and generates the final total of my bill. So the first thing I want to do is be able to choose a shop. So I'm just going to add a field in here called Choose Shop and the shop's going to be chosen from here. I'm going to use data validation for this and I'm going to go to data, data validation and then data validation again and then I'm going to choose allow from a list and the source is going to be these two. So now I've got Asda and I've got Tesco. What I want to do now is write a VLOOKUP that, um, well, an if statement that checks whether this is Asda or Tesco and then does a VLOOKUP of the price. So the way it works is like this, equals uh, if this cell here, F4, is, uh, and we want to do that on a with dollar signs because we want to make it an absolute because we're going to drag down in a minute. If um, F4 equals, and I'm going to write Asda now, rather than writing it, let's click on there because then it could be the same equals J6, which is Asda, F4 again, then, comma, do a VLOOKUP, so VLOOKUP, um, and I want to look up this value here, which is B7, which is the apples at the moment, comma, I want to look at this table down here, and that's going to stay in the same place, so we press F4 to make it absolute, we want to return column 2, and we want it to be an exact match, so we're going to type in false close that. Now that that VLOOKUP happens if this cell F4 is equal to this cell which says ASDA. So if it says ASDA we're going to look up this table and we're going to look up the first item and we're going to return the second column which has the price for that first item. If it's not ASDA then it's going to be Tesco so we're going to just do a VLOOKUP again. And this time we're going to use apples again from this table again, F4, because we want to make sure it's absolute when we drag down. This time we're going to uh, we're going to return column three, and again we're going to use false. Close that off, and then close the bracket off for the if statement, and we're done. So now I can drag that down. If I choose Tesco, you should see the prices change, and that's how that works. So now we just have to write our formula for this bit: equals this one times this one. We'll drag that down, and then we can quickly use the auto sum feature to figure out the final price of the shop. And that's how you combine an if statement with a VLOOKUP.